Yes, Catherine, and this one is no exception. Matt's story is about hitting rock bottom and climbing back to the top. Glancing at Matt Miller, you see a typical 30-year-old talking with his girlfriend Jessica about the busy work week ahead. But if you look closer, you can see there is something different about Matt. I said, let's do it. And when he stood up, uh, it, was, it just happened so fast. Down he went, and, uh, and I dove after him. And we went down about 4,000 feet down the face of this glacier, and somehow it came to a stop just short of these cliffs. Matt is talking about the day he lost all his fingers, except for his thumbs, and all his toes in a mountain climbing accident at Pico de Orizaba, Mexico, with his father, Dennis. Left alone, the only chance of rescue for the two would be by helicopter in the morning. They did wake up to the rescue chopper, but Matt's entire nose had been torn off. And even worse, he was suffering from hypothermia and a pulmonary edema, meaning he had tricked his body into thinking he was warm and took off his gloves and boots during the night. My fingers were white, but no one really understood what was going to happen. He soon would have his fingers and toes removed, and with his new physical appearance came a new mental attitude. And that was the toughest thing for me going through probably, you know, having really no, no insecurity in my life to uh, all of a sudden my identity has totally changed. Nevertheless, Matt, who had been an independent guy, wanted it back. So he took a new job in L.A. and eventually landed in Austin, where he decided to enroll in UT's evening MBA program. It was probably tough. I think at first at UT, I probably, and I sat in the back. I'm sure it was a little bit quiet. It took me a long time to get my confidence back. Matt soon realized that to gain his confidence back, he'd have to get up from the back of the classroom and tell his story to everyone at UT. I, I think human nature, people don't want to ask what happened. And... Um, Matt actually approached us about um, presenting to the class and uh, just to explain what happened and, and, and in a way to put his classmates at ease. Matt began presenting a slideshow entitled We All Have Scars with pictures of him climbing in the aftermath of his injuries with a very special last slide saying embrace the challenge of McCombs, climb the mountain. That's what helped me. I mean the best way to go through trauma is to, to, to share and, and help other people. And uh, that was, uh, maybe it was a selfish thing for me to do it, but uh, it was my way of coping, I think. Matt did receive his MBA in 2010 and plans to give more presentations to future classes at McCombs. What a story. Thank you, Leo. Appreciate that. We'll be right